Federation has reached its decision. Roger Wilco, please step forward. Roger Wilco, you have been judged guilty of the following crimes. Abandoning your post. Deviating from mission parameters. Misuse of Starcon property. Disintegrating a fellow officer. Perpetrating a sequel without authorization. And consorting with a female of higher rank. Do you have anything to say for yourself before we pronounce sentence? Uh... Can't you guys take a joke? Do you have anything intelligent to say for yourself before we pronounce sentence? Uh... Nope. Very well. It is the opinion of this tribunal that as punishment for your crimes against the Star Confederation, you are to be decommissioned. You are hereby stripped of the rank of captain. You are no longer an officer of the Star Confederation. Your enrollment at Star Con Academy is hereby terminated. However, Due to your successful return of the SCS Eureka, your rescue of the Goliath's crew, and the fact that nobody gets rid of stubborn mildew stains and black heel marks as well as you do, we are returning you to your former post with Star Conflict. You are hereby ordered to resume your duties immediately as janitor second class on board... The SCS Deep Ship 86. Attention all hands. This is your commander speaking. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for your fine performance during our recent episode, A Stitch in Time Saves Gamma 9. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As a gesture of appreciation, we're putting in for shore leave on polysorbate sixty. Enjoy yourselves, and don't do anything I wouldn't do. Kilbasa out. Meanwhile, in a deserted warehouse just outside the galaxy... I don't care how you 
do it, gentlemen, so long as his body is intact. Do you understand? Yes, we got it. Yes, we got it. Yes, we got it. Yes, we Good. Now, I believe you'll find him here on Polysorbate 60. On a shore. Okay, I'm ready. Energize! As we join our hero, Roger Wilco, he has just been transported to the surface of Polysorbate 60 to enjoy a little shore leave. Apparently, there was a minor glitch in the process. Well, at least you got here with all your important parts, your hands, your mouth, and your stomach. Oh, great. Real wonderful. Nice beam job, you metallic piece of scrap. Jesus is snug. Real snug. Mm. You know, it actually makes me feel kind of good. I remember when I used to wear my mom's... A... Well, never mind. No time for nostalgia. I've got a serious extraction problem to work out first. That's an interesting piece of hardware. Your normally dim power of recollection actually recalls having seen a picture of... Upon closer inspection, you notice some sort of ID card hanging on the frame. He seems totally unfazed by your sorry attempt at communication. He wisely ignores you. Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. Seldom have you had the good fortune to get to know a street so up close and personal. You feel you have a real bond growing. Rats! The cinema appears to be closed. You were... You'd think, if indeed you did, that a guy with the skin quality of a pachyderm wouldn't have a problem with this climate. It's your trusty whisk broom and dust pan. That's your current Buckazoid collection. What, was that supposed to be clever? Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. Your reach is about as great as your personal... Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. Your reach is about as great as your personal depth.
that's delightfully non-helpful. Thank you, my good man. Yikes, I, I hope everything came out with me. Upon grabbing the ID card, you notice the picture on it is of a rather homely looking alien type. Yes, everyone can't be as fortunate as you. Sure, you've been in space a long, long time, but it might pay to be just a little more discriminating. That's delightfully nice. Hi there. Howdy there, partner. The name's Paul. Paul Conshohocker. Yeah, that's my name. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment here. Now, anything I can sell you, why, you just let me know. Uh, but if you steal anything, uh, I'll be forced to kind of kill you. <laughs> Welcome. That uh, sounds fair. Your words cause everything to become speechless. A stack of papers lay unattended on the floor. Apparently, Pa doesn't get in a big hurry to put stuff away. The headline reads, Lindbergh Baby Kidnapped. It's most uninteresting. This is the interior of Bootlicker. In keeping with most of the rest of the area, there is absolutely no frill. Were it working this device, it, as noted on its top, would supply... It's one of those new Kodrak mobile photo booths. I heard they were beta testing those. This one's labeled fresh. By the looks of things around here, fresh is a very relative term. Uh. <clears throat> Howdy, stranger. The name's Blatz. Fester Blatz. Welcome to implants and stuff. Go ahead. Have a look around at some of the most interesting replacement body components this lovely planetoid has to offer. Uh. Now you know what happened to the infamous R2 line of droids. They've been reduced to carrying out the most trivial of tasks. Fester's using one for a gen blood blender. How sad. The R2 line of droids seemed like the hottest thing going in their day. Then they found that one little flaw in the programming. 
Unfortunately, the princess's personal life will never be quite the same. Them syringes you can use with lidocaine if you got some. Sometimes you gotta give old Butch a jump start right at first. And careful, boy. You don't want to be pricking yourself with one of those. They aren't approved for first species use. We pick them up used from organ pirates who specialize in harvesting stuff from battle zones. Wouldn't want you to go mentioning that to anyone you understand. Hello, uh, Mr. Bouncer. He pays very little attention. You're pretty used to it. But someday... It would appear that once again, Vice is a bit more profitable than most business ventures. This place is almost too hip for the planet. But then, that's no mean feat, given what a total heap this place appears to be. Your utterances fall on uninterested oral organs. Can't you see he's working the room here? He's expecting a babe stampede any minute now. His lifespan, no matter how long... Their conversation continues uninterrupted by you. I wouldn't risk talking to one of these folks. Your utterances fall on uninterest. You start to say something and then you remember that you're supposed to be a man of action, not words. Or is that the other way around? You start to say something. In this case, I'd suggest you just talk to yourself. Woof woof. It... Gee, uh, she looks pretty busy right now. Maybe I should wait until she's done with that table. Gee, uh, she looks pretty big. Howdy, doll face. What can I get ya? Nothing right now, thanks. Okay, you just let me know if you change your mind, hon. They're just some no-deposit empties. I don't... Cartons of really boring stuff like cocktail napkins and the like populate a good portion of the area down here. They're just some no-deposit empties. I don't know what comes down here, but these definitely have some sort of deposit. You found your way to the not-so-spiffy basement of the nightclub. Numerous stock items are stored down here. Don't touch that. We don't know where you've been. Don't pick at it. You'll only make it work. Don't touch that. That's delightfully... Utterances fall on uninterested oral.
that's delightfully not... There isn't much you can do to them that inflation hasn't already. There isn't much you can do to them that in... It would appear that merging those two items is not a good idea. You're back in your comfy, reassuring, janitorial duds. The flaming barrels remind you of the good old days, kicking back in the sandy outback of Corona, roasting grell burgers over a lit rocket nozzle. Life was so simple then, but then so are you. Apparently, some things don't change. You pop a coin in the slot and climb on in. All right, I'm looking pretty good. Fire away. There's got to be an optics problem with that machine. I, I look uh, partially digested. Thing you didn't opt for that second set of prints after all. Guess that guy won't be filing any complaints with the Portable Business Association. Careful, combining those items might cause a rip in the space-time continuum, a tear in the very fabric of space. Careful, combine... You quite cleverly paste your picture over the old one on the ID card. <laughs> 